to take us to this conversation before we head up to seven o'clock. Rural farmers in KZN are open to compost made from human sewage. That's right, we're talking about poop. It's according to a study by the University of Pretoria and KZN. Uh, researchers surveying uh, hundreds of farmers to understand their fertilizer choices. So, uh, what have they actually said? Let's find out and discuss it with uh, Dr. Uh, Damien Jodain from Tukkies. Uh, doctor, good morning to you. I see you possibly on mute. If you could just unmute yourself, Doc, uh, and then uh, you can give me a sense of the research and the work that's gone into this. Good morning. Good morning, Connie. Uh, so the, the idea, and it was uh, mainly done by the University of KZN, uh, was to investigate whether farmers would be uh, willing to accept um, or to pay for a fertilizer made of, uh, as you said, human poo. Um, so if for us, it's a, it's a collaboration. Eh? Uh, they, uh, I, I suppose Dr. Dr. Vara will, will uh, endeavor more on the product itself. Um, our aim was to really design and uh, help in the design and analysis of, of the information. Uh, we use for that um, you know, choice experiment that we try to promote here in South Africa with South African uh, students and, and, and beyond, I would say, because of, uh, University of Pretoria is trying to reach some, uh, uh, some students from all over the place. So how feasible is it to actually put this into place? As you say, there's talk of it and there's an open-mindedness to it. How feasible is it to do it? I think at this stage, uh, we, we're still in the, in the um, uh, investigation part. Eh? Uh, don't, don't get overwhelmed by uh, having some, some fertilizer made of poop tomorrow. Uh, although um, what we try to see is uh, whether farmers would be uh, scared to use it, whether um, and beyond we would be investigated, whether consumers would be scared that the product will use with human poop. And, and, and so the idea is to carefully uh, look at the, uh, all the aspects of uh, possible uh, pr um, things that may mm. block mm. the use of those, those fertilizers. Uh, Dr. Jordan, I'm going to come back to you in a second. I want to introduce into the conversation as well uh, from the University of KZN, Dr. Simon Guara. Dr. Guara, good to have you with us. I uh, see so you've just joined us on the show. Good morning to you. So let's talk about, uh, well, I don't know how to say this uh, because hopefully people aren't eating breakfast, but the product itself, <laughs> talk to me about the design and the perspectives on this. Briefly, I don't want to rush anybody, but I am running up to seven o'clock headlines. Doc, just give me, Dr. Guara, give me the breakdown of this. Okay, uh, thank you uh, for having me. So in terms of the product designs, uh, what we did is just to look uh, back into the composting process and try to find what has been affecting uh, composting, uh, the composting of and the use of compost by farmers. So what we did is to improve the desirability of compost. Uh, so to do so, we uh, looked into the literature and we found that pelletization, just to make it a pellet, will make it more easy to carry around and work around and if you certify, you are able to guarantee to the farmers that uh, if there are concerns of health risk, then you are producing a product that is according to the, uh, to the quality standards that are required by the law. The other attributes that we looked at uh, was um, fortification. One of the reasons why farmers don't use compost is the low product value. So if you can add inorganic fertilizers there during the process, um, on top of facilitating the composting process itself, you are making it more valuable. That means you are no longer carrying a lot of compost uh, just to apply uh, yeah. and meet the crop requirements that are, are needed by the crops. Dr. Guara, I'm not sure how to phrase this question. I'm going to ask it rather unelegantly, but here we go for it. When it comes to fertilizer from animals, generally those animals that are providing the fertilizer have been given a very specific diet in order to produce a very specific kind of fertilizer. How do we do this with humans to, here it goes, produce a certain kind of fertilizer from humans? That was really badly put. Okay. Okay. Uh, if I had your uh, question correctly, so what we're simply doing is we're talking uh, human uh, feces and then we mix them with green waste 
and then we compost it. So what happens during the process is that the temperatures increase and then it purifies all the concerns or health concerns or pathogens, heavy metals and other personal care and um, uh, such kind of products. So the product that you are having uh, to bring the nutrients back into the soil, uh, into mm. the soil is a uh, it's meeting the standards of uh, agricultural production. So farmers should not be really scared about the use of uh, human excreta in agriculture. Oh, doctors, I'm going to say thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Jourdain, let me just come back to you very briefly. I think if you can just tell us what's the timeline on, on this, as briefly as you can. Are we there, we're starting to experiment, or is this a bit down the road? Uh, I think Dr. Gvara is more uh, most adequate for that answer. I would say we still need to to uh, look at the um, safety uh, aspects and the acceptability by consumers. Yes. Okay, so Dr. Gwara, take I, that question quickly then, Dr. Gwara. As Dr. Jordan says, maybe you're better suited. What's our timeline, quickly, if you could? Okay, in terms of the timeline uh, here in KZN through the Randers project, so we have already done four years where we were supporting um, a real businesses uh, to actually start composting. So we're producing, I think, maximum of about a thousand tons per year um, uh, of compost. That means we are diverting more than 20,000 tons of green waste from the land tree. In, into, into this uh, composting process. And we are also using uh, sewage sludge to, to, to make compost mm. that is actually being used by farmers today. It's fascinating. It's not what I thought I'd be talking about on a morning television show, but here we are, breakfast time. This is what we're talking about. To both of you doctors, thank you uh, very much. All the best. I'm sure we'll touch base uh, a little further down the road. Uh,